Welcome back guys. Now in this video, let's discuss about upper motor neuron lesions and lower motor neuron lesions. Okay. See, we know what exactly are these upper motor neurons. Okay. We have discussed about the upper motor neurons and also we have seen about the lower motor neurons. Okay. The two types of lower motor neurons, alpha motor neurons, gamma motor neurons we have already discussed. Now let's see what happens if there is an upper motor neuron lesion. See the upper motor neurons, okay, which are coming from the cortex to the spinal cord, okay, the corticospinal tracts. What happens if they are damaged? Okay, see, I used to remember like upper motor neurons, like the parents. Usually, the upper motor neurons will control the lower motor neuron activity. Okay, the upper motor neurons will control the lower motor neurons. So it's just like a parental control. So parents will control their offspring or children, right? Now, for example, what happens if there is no parental control? If there is no parental control, this child will be like doing overactivity or overaction. Okay, not under the control, right? So, in the same way, upper motor neurons will also regulate the activity of the lower motor neurons. If there is a lesion in upper motor neuron, what will happen? If there is a lesion in lower motor neuron, what will happen? We will see the differences. Usually, see, the upper motor neurons, what is the function? Upper motor neurons have the inhibitory effect on muscle stretch reflex. Okay, usually the upper motor neurons will inhibit to say like you know, upper motor neurons will inhibit the muscle stretch reflex. Okay. Now what this lower motor neurons are doing? Lower motor neuron function is it's a motor component of the muscle reflex. Okay. Now upper motor neurons they show the inhibitory effect on muscle stretch reflex. Lower motor neurons what they are doing? They are doing motor component. They are the motor component of the muscle reflex muscle reflex actually these are the motor components see how to understand it the lower motor neurons are the motor output from the spinal cord the alpha motor neurons okay the alpha motor neurons they will come and they will go to the muscle and they will cause contraction of the muscle that's why motor component of the muscle reflex later we will discuss about the muscle reflexes muscle stretch reflex inverse stretch reflex there you will understand but here the lower motor neurons, what is the function of lower motor neurons? Simple, the function, I am not talking about the lesion. The lower motor neuron function is, the lower motor neurons will cause the muscle contraction. That's why motor component. Okay, now, from now, let's see the differences between the upper motor neuron lesions and lower motor neuron lesions. See, in upper motor neuron lesion, the patient is going to have spastic paralysis. Why there is spastic paralysis? See, I have said you, the upper motor neurons will regulate the control of the lower motor neurons. Whenever the upper motor neuron is not there, what will happen? Now the lower motor neuron, it will overfire, it will overexcite, causing the contraction of the muscle. When the muscles are contracted like this, the patient cannot use these muscles. So this is paralysis. The patient is unable to use the muscles. Paralysis is there. Now what type of paralysis is it? It's a spastic paralysis. Okay, all the muscles are under spasm. This is called as a spastic paralysis. Okay, so upper motor neuron lesion, there is spastic paralysis. Now in lower motor neuron lesion, which type of paralysis is seen? It's a flaccid paralysis. Why flaccid paralysis? Why? Because it's the lower motor neurons which controls the muscle. If lower motor neuron itself is dead means the muscle is not going to contract. If the muscle is not contracting means it is absolutely relaxed, paralyzed. There is no tone. So there is flaccidity, flaccid paralysis is seen. One is spastic paralysis. The other is flaccid paralysis. Okay. So the type of paralysis we have seen. Now what about the tendon reflexes, deep tendon reflexes. Now see upper motor neuron see what they are doing they are inhibitory on the reflexes okay they are inhibitory on the reflexes now whenever the upper motor neurons are damaged what happens there is hyper reflexia okay there is hyper reflexia okay now what happened to the lower motor neuron lesion see lower motor neurons yes lower motor neurons are the one which actually causes the muscle contraction okay so they are the motor component, they are the motor component of the muscle reflex. Now when the lower motor neurons are damaged means, see this motor component in the muscle reflex is gone. So there will be hyporeflexia. Okay, in upper motor neuron lesion, there is a hyperreflexia because upper motor neurons are inhibitory to the reflexes. Whenever the inhibitory is lost, what happens? There will be hyperreflexia and lower motor neurons, they are actually helping in the reflex. They are helping in the reflex. They are the efferents. Okay, they are the motor component. Now, whenever it is damaged, automatically there will be hyporeflexia. 
okay now what else are the differences sir if you look at the muscle tone okay muscle tone upper motor neurons are damaged lower motor neurons are over excitating these lower motor neurons what they will do they will cause spasticity now if you look at a muscle there will be hypertonia is there inside the muscle okay lot of tone is there absolutely the muscles are contracting so there is hypertonia hypertonia and if you look at the lower motor neuron lesion in lower motor neuron lesion there is hypotonia lower motor neurons are not working when the lower motor neurons are not working muscles are not contracting when the muscles are not contracting muscles are absolutely relaxed muscles are flaccid so no tone is there so there is hypotonia if you look at the muscle tone absolutely muscles are not having any tone low okay low tone is there that's a hypotonia now if you look at the muscle mass okay if you look at the muscle mass see in upper motor neuron lesions okay in upper motor neuron lesions lower motor neurons are over firing lower motor neurons will cause spasticity unnecessary contraction of the muscles so there is a disuse okay this is the disuse atrophy disuse means not not properly the muscles are being used okay there is continuous contraction is there now when the muscles are continuously being contracted also that will cause atrophy that is a disuse atrophy okay that is a disuse atrophy now here in lower motor neuron lesions same story alpha motor neurons are not working when lower motor neurons are not there muscle contraction is not there so the person is unable to use the muscles when you when you are not using the muscles automatically that will cause muscle wasting okay there is hypoplasia of the muscles muscles are getting lesser and lesser okay i shouldn't say hypertrophy atrophy atrophy of the muscles okay so that atrophy will cause wasting muscles are getting wasted away wasting atrophy is seen what are the other other differences sir in upper motor neuron lesions see fasciculations are not seen fasciculations are not seen fasciculations are like a you know, little contraction little contraction twitchings twitchings okay so such kind of fasciculations are seen with the lower motor neuron lesion okay lower motor neuron lesions uh, because of this like you know lower motor neurons are unnecessarily firing okay this, that that will cause that will cause fasciculations okay that will cause fasciculations and what about the babinski sign okay what about the babinski sign see normally look at here see this is your foot now with a sharp object whenever i try to rub like this okay actually whenever see this is something normal whenever i try to rub like this okay do like this so what will happen usually the fingers will flex like this okay usually the fingers will flex this is something normal okay if everything is normal upper motor neurons intact lower motor neurons intact so there will be flexion like this okay now what happens in upper motor neuron lesion whenever there is an upper motor neuron lesion whenever you try to strike like this with a sharp object there is fanning out of fingers okay in detail about this we will discuss later but for now just trust me now whenever you do like this okay whenever you do like this there will be fanning out of fingers like this okay the fingers will fan out okay the fingers will move like this okay all the fingers in the foot okay that to uh, everything will become like this so this is called as fanning out so such type of uh, like you know such type of <laughs> result is called as a positive babinski sign okay this is something positive okay so positive babinski sign means there is upper motor neuron lesion if the fingers move up upper motor neurons are gone just remember it like that if the fingers are moving up they are they are directing they are directing that upper motor neurons are damaged so upper motor neuron lesion the babinski sign is positive in lower motor neuron lesion the babinski sign is not positive okay it's so no no babinski sign is seen so in this video we have majorly seen what are the differences between upper motor neuron lesions and lower motor neuron lesions hope the video is helpful thank you